They are quite strict. You know, um, what what is the answer? We have to build them somewhere, don't we? The, these um, energy from waste sites. Well. Precisely, yes. I mean, let me just start by saying I'm no fan of incinerators. And what the European Union, European Parliament was trying to do was to say in the first instance what we have to do and what local councils have to do is to encourage people to recycle and reuse more. Of course, not every hazardous waste can be recycled. Not every kind of waste can be reused. So we do need to find suitable ways of disposing some kinds of waste. Now, you know, land Fuel sites have just as many hazardous uh, health problems and environmental problems as what Mark has just outlined for an incinerator. You know, the landfill sites um, have impact on the soil, they can affect the groundwater, they let off methane, which affects but, the environment. So we have to make sure hmm. that what we are doing is that the public have full information so they make an informed choice and the local council... But the health issue is one that people are very worried about. Obviously here uh, near Telford people are worried about it, but there are other incinerator plans elsewhere, you know, where communities have been concerned about the potential impact on their families. So, you know, shouldn't we know exactly what all the risks are before we do Absolutely. this? Absolutely. We, all that information has to be made public so that individuals understand it but you know we have passed again European legislation which state you mm. have to have an environmental impact study before mm. you can have an incinerator mm. you also but have to make I, sure that yeah. the you know the pollution control mm. aspects are dealt with. But Mark yeah. you disagree do you? Well the fact is that CETA themselves said they will regulate emissions from the incinerator well if there's nothing to regulate then why regulate mm. it clearly there will be emissions mm. and people are absolutely mm. right to be concerned concerned about that and I'm glad that Telford and Rekin Primary Care Trust have agreed but, that a health impact assessment is but, required. But, 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 but let me just say, it's a Tory MEP who led this legislation through the Parliament, well, Caroline Jackson, certainly said that actually we have to leave it there. Certainly we have to leave it there. Yeah, there are yeah, other, yeah. other plans in the pipeline for Warwickshire, for Worcestershire, so, uh, and certainly here the campaigners say this isn't the end of their protest. They're planning a song called the Incinerator Blues, so we'll be listening out for that one.